Welcome back to the Targa Florio. Yes, it's been a while since we were last here, almost three months actually. The last time we were here was Christmas Eve when we took the Ferrari 312PB around here and we failed quite miserably to break the all-time lap record around here. Now, if you didn't know the Targa Florio, this is a 72 kilometers long circuit uh, that were all hosted on public roads. It used to actually be part of the World Sports Car Championship for quite a while until safety concerns brought an end to that in the mid 1970s. But thanks to sim racing, we can do this in any car that we'd like, and we've taken many cars around here from the Renault 1906, the Ford GT40, Ferrari 330. And now is the time where we're getting serious, and what I mean by that. We are going to try and break the lap record which still stands at 33 minutes 41 seconds that was set by none other than Helmut Marko himself in an Alfa Romeo 33 TT3. Now you might be wondering what car we're going to be attempting to break that record today. Pretty much the same car. The Alfa Romeo 33 TT12, which is just a slightly upgraded version. I don't, I don't know too much about these cars. Uh, I'm not a sports car expert. Neither am I an expert in anything really. But uh, I'm sure a lot of you can know a lot more about it than me. But this car did compete at the top throw, and it is one of the fastest, faster cars that actually competed in it. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I actually have my personal best time, which is a 34.48, uh, which I actually took around here in this car. So we could be very, very close today. And um, I'm pretty nervous, but also quite excited that today it could finally happen that we managed to break that lap record. Now, my actual best around here... Um, to, for you guys that uh, you've seen is a 3451 which I set in a Ferrari 512S uh, a few months ago so we are probably be slightly better than that I'm gonna be adjusting things on the car to make it just a little bit faster no traction control and this is gonna be a wild ride so don't expect me to be talking too much about you know how the channel is going how I'm going too much because obviously this is going to be insane speeds. I've done a bit of practice and I can tell you it's going to be tricky to keep this thing on the road and um, yeah I'll try my best. I'll try my best to you know, acknowledge you watching and uh, of course this is going to be the toughest test that I've done yet on the top floor. Now I've done a lot of laps on this track but this is going to be the toughest one yet and I'm all set. My wheel is dying. It's um, falling off and um, probably will be replaced soon hopefully if I get the money together so hopefully it can survive just this one lap and um, at the end of it we come home as the fastest Targa Florio ever it's, oh, it's not official obviously but we could dream we could imagine we could pretend for just however long this video goes on for probably a long time because I'm rabbiting on like I usually do so Without further ado, let's go to the start line and have a real good go. Okay, let's form up on the start line now. We're pretty much just on it. We're going to wait until the timer reaches one minute. So then at the end of the lap, we'll just take off one minute. And it's just coming up now, five seconds to go. This is that flat 12 engine. And go! Here we go, Tiger Floro. Attempt number two. We failed the first time. What can we do this time? In this absolute rocket ship. And it truly is a rocket ship. It's slightly scraped the, uh, the wall. See, I'm going to struggle to talk here because this thing is so fast, I'm going to have to really be on it if I'm going to win it. So there's nothing to win except for pride. No traction control, I've turned up the tyre temp uh, temperatures. Yeah, I've just got some, <laughs> some lighters just on my tyres, just constantly going. No, blow torches. But now uh, I've uh, up the pressures, done a few more things with the drivetrain to really just get the best out of this car. 
if you could call it a car, it's more like an aeroplane. See, around this era, Alfa Romeo is so, whoop, so dominant in the sports car scene. Whoa, this thing is absolutely crazy. Whoa. Third gear. So sometimes I hesitate going through corners. Uh, so how have you guys been? You been okay? <laughs> Just having casual conversation while I'm doing this. Ooh. See, if I do manage to get the record, what I'll do is I'll upload this this clip, but the replay without me talking so then you don't have to hear me just going all the time you can just enjoy the noise of the fastest lap around the target floor ever in virtual world which I think if I do this today that will top off what has already been a very good week in contrast to oh fucking hell in contrast to couple of weeks ago where things seemed to be so dark I didn't know what to do. Nope. <laughs> so you go if you heard that, that's me pushing my wheel back onto its um uh, onto the desk because it's really just falling off. It seems okay for now. It seems to be hanging on. <laughs> Unlike me. But yeah it seems to be hanging on. I can do races with it in this position, it doesn't seem to want to fall off anytime soon or anything like that. So it should be good. But no, it's been a very good week for me. I'm going to do a video soon um, where I'm not even going to be on a set of course. Euro Truck Simulator is coming to Motorsport, uh, Motorsport Madness. Uh, basically, I'm going to be talking a few personal things which doesn't relate to motorsport it doesn't really relate to the channel it's just something I wanted to, wanted to do for a little while just to talk about some experiences that I've had in my life that might actually be useful to some of you out there whether you're, you watch this channel or not right, I go for these streets but uh, I did actually try and record it a couple of weeks ago but when I was quite down in the mud but um, I was also ill at the time and I did a few test recordings and in the end it worked fine so I did the video and then about I don't know, an hour in it was a long conversation um, I wasn't feeling great I really wasn't feeling well I had a horrible I had the flu all that jazz and um, And then found out that it didn't actually record the entire video, despite the test recordings telling me, yeah, it'll be fine, record, go on. Um, so yeah, that was very annoying. Put it back a bit too early there. It's going to cost me some minutes. So no traction control on this thing, but it's actually not too bad. This car only has about 500 horsepower, so it's not the most powerful. It's not exactly a Porsche 917 now, but it's still hard to control. You can see the wheel I'm constantly having to to fight with it. It's got to third. It seems to like third. So push my real wheel forward a little bit, to make sure it doesn't collapse. And it's the scariest part. One of the scariest things when you're doing sim racing where your wheel just randomly falls off. I was doing an online race a few weeks ago. It wasn't a race, it was just a track day on um, Spa. Pause there for a minute. That's the first time I've gone through there and not smashed into that barrier. See, practice works, kids. The power of please. Oh, wait. No, we're good. Um, yeah, I was doing some uh, track day in... Um, GTs and I was driving a Mercedes SLS AMG go through the bus stop chicane and spa and then the clamp of my wheel just just collapsed literally halfway through the chicane it absolutely nearly killed me I was, it frightened me to death I was like what's going on 
So I finished the lap, which was like the second quickest out of the entire lobby, which I was quite chuffed about actually, as you would be. And um, yeah, I had to stop just at La Source. So proper champion. God, my left arm is absolutely aching already. I haven't even done much. We're not even halfway through. <gasps> Jesus. Very squirrely. Calm down, calm down, come on. We've even emptied out a lot of fuel so this thing's even faster. But yeah, Euro Truck Simulator will be coming soon. <laughs> and I look forward to it. Just having a nice chat because normally I'll do that for these videos, but as you can tell by my voice, I'm going. There's a lot of tension. <laughs> just, just, just having a casual conversation go through here at these speeds. I have no idea what speeds we're doing. Because I haven't got a speedometer, which is quite common for the cars of this era. No speedo or anything to tell you how fast they're going. <gasps> uh, oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> First time I've done that. We did slightly cut a corner there, but I'm sure I'll make a mistake at some other point which will make up for it. Because mistakes are common here, even for a real real life drivers of the era, you look at photos of cars just absolutely beaten up by the end of their runs. There's the wheel going back on. It felt like it was about to come off then so I was a little bit worried. Ooh, my stomach. Do this to VR, this is awesome. Now, I know there's um, well, I kind of got inspired to do this video because Jeep Laps uploaded his video with the 1973 version of this track and it made me think, oh yeah, I forgot about that. I do Tarka Flora videos too, so that's why I'm here. Now, Grep, I forgot all about my record attempts and I was sitting here thinking, hmm, what video should I do today? And then um, it hit me. So, yes, Tarka Flora, it's quick and easy, it's fun, it does require a lot of editing. And I could have massive rewards. I'll be going to work tomorrow. Right, guys, I've done it. It happened. Like, what? You got a girlfriend? Uh, no. I broke the Targa Flora lap record. Oh. How interesting. That's pretty much my life. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? The car's driving itself at the moment. How was I able to keep it? I'm not spinning out just back there. This is, I can't talk, man. This is just. Why did I just say man? I'm not talking to a single person here. I don't know how many views this video has right now. Honestly, this car is driving itself. One of those moments where you just feel so immersed in what you're doing. I've also got quite a few announcements coming up. Uh, including a couple new series, one of which I'll announce now is the Onboard Lap Collection, which will be similar to the best of uh, set of course um, sounds videos, which you guys really enjoy. And I enjoy making them, editing, they're really good fun actually, and that's relaxing videos to make. It doesn't require much effort from me, I, I've only got to drive the cars and then record the replays and then. Why am I downshifting? Um, and yada yada yada. And the onboard lap collection can't be similar, but it'll just be a collection of all of all of them. Onboard laps for various different cars and circuits from across the world. As much variation as possible. Not really focused on sounds, so be able to make. Uh, feature as many cars and tracks as possible. It doesn't matter to me. So yeah, that's coming. I don't know when. Whenever I can be bothered, really. Got quite a lot. Got some big stuff going on right now. With work and outside of work. And um, the other, th another series coming to this channel, which I teased a while ago, actually. Oh, hang on. Let me just get through this terrifying section there. How are we doing for time? I have no idea. 11, well, 10 minutes, okay. That's actually not bad. 
I'll be absolutely gutted if I don't make this. I have no idea what time we have the, with the Ferrari at this point. Absolutely no idea. So there's 20 minutes to the end. <laughs> You're going to hear a lot of weird noises coming from my mouth today, I can assure you. Come on. Come on. Stop spinning. <sighs> Alpha. I don't really drive Alphas in the sim apart from obviously the Alpha Romeo 158 and it seems one of the uh, historic sim, not historic sim studios, historic F1 series. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, I've got another series coming which I teased a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, well, I can't remember what it was, but it was featuring those collection of Lotus vehicles. Some of you probably easy to spot what's going on but um, yeah still try and get that together I know what calendar there's gonna be about 38 races in the um, in the uh, series and it's not gonna be quite there's not really gonna be a schedule to it like historic F1 series and um, God oh God See, this is like just an added part of the challenge. Just, oh yeah, can a man talk gibberish for half an hour whilst he tries to do the? No. Whilst he does the fastest lap around the target floor. Now that's gonna affect my time. Ooh. But um, yeah. So I teased that a while ago. And I'm still trying to get things right with the cars. The cars are what's slowing me down right now. Uh, because four of the five are accurate to the time period and uh, the particular year that we're going to be doing. And um, however, one of those four is quite slow for the car. And um, not don't really enjoy driving, so I'm going to try and mess around with the setup to try and make sure it's drivable, it's fun, it's enjoyable, despite the fact we're going to be using it for one race. Um, and I've got all the circuits. Uh, some of the circuits aren't available to a uh, AC, so some of them have had to be replaced with others, which are, you know, not just random ones, they are kind of suitable replacements. Um, and yeah, just trying to get everything together there's uh, the fifth car which isn't accurate and I believe it's way too quick for its type if you know what I mean if you get what I'm trying to say here and uh, yeah I'm trying to work out without just putting on ballasts and work out what time this particular car actually got at these particular circuits to see whether it is accurate or not we're trying to find accurate data because it's going to be as historically accurate as possible because I'm going to be using the real grids, real lineups. Um, the car, the opposition cars probably will be different. Probably will be the same as um, historic F1 series where they're going to be. Um, uh, what's the word? Same car, different liveries. So I apologise. But that's all I got. I've got very limited space on my computer for anything else. Every day I get warning, the computer's running low storage. I know and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, and then the other thing. Well, uh, hopefully I can announce um, something soon about that series. Like I said, where I can be bothered. And like I uh, mentioned earlier, it won't be like a schedule like the um, historic F1 series. It'll be more like, uh, what video should I do today? Oh, I know. Let's do that one. But uh, I, I am looking forward to it. I've looked at the calendar and I've tried the cars at each of the circuit we're going to be going to. And I'm like, I want to do this now, but it's not ready. And I think you guys would enjoy it as well. That's why. I, yeah, partly for my enjoyment, and also I think you guys, since this 
channel is kind of focuses on historic F1 sports car. I think you guys would enjoy it a lot. And hopefully it works out. And the other one uh, I will announce as soon as uh, I'm allowed to. Uh, but I think you guys will be pretty excited. You'll probably get wind of it eventually, but um, even if I don't announce anything, but uh, yeah, it's uh, something I'm very, very excited about. And um, when I um, when I got t told yes, this is what's happening, I almost jumped for joy. I was so happy, and I'm uh, really excited to. Um, to be doing it. I uh, haven't actually done anything with it yet. Still working out the final details. But um, yeah, you guys will notice something at some point, even if I don't say anything. But uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. Uh, it's going to be my little pride and joy almost. Basically, it's a side hustle to a side hustle, which is. Obviously, this is a side hustle, but there's a side hustle to this now. Your target floyer expert talks gibberish while his attempts to break the lap record. So, how have you guys been? You been okay? It's good to see some of you comment on the uh, latest Stork F1 series video at uh, the Felberg Grand Prix saying, you know, good luck and all that, which is kind of weird because obviously I know the result and um, I know the result and I'm just sort of sat in my living room just chilling, watching football or something. I'm like, huh? Good luck? What do you mean? What's happening? What's, what's coming to me? <laughs> and realize, oh, yeah. Um, so it's kind of weird because I know the result. It, the race for me, the races has already happened. Um, so it's a bit. So I have to pretend like, oh yeah, thanks. So if you're watching, you commented that right at the right time because of me. Like just about a minute after that, Senna crashed into the back of me and nearly ended my race right there. right hander. See I'm starting to really learn, know the circuit fairly well. <gasps> Say that. <laughs> that makes up for that corner cut earlier. Almost. <laughs> so 19 minutes on the clock. This is going to be close. This is going to be very close. Oh, God, this is really tight and Slow corners, that's me pushing my wheel back on. It's really struggling to stay on now. Please hold on. Some spinning. Traction control is overrated. I mean, underrated, in my opinion. Ooh. <laughs> Why still? Bike. Apologise to anyone the religious watching this right now. It's the stuff I say. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of historic F1 series, soon. Well, we're going to take a bit of a break, maybe a month or two uh, before the start of season four. And I'm really looking forward to season four more than I was looking forward to this season. Actually, reason being is the calendar looks a bit different than previous years. There's a lot of new tracks coming that haven't featured before. The car is obviously going to be different. It's not going to be the Maserati, don't worry. But it's a car that's new to AC. Uh, it's not actually finished yet as well. Um, weak, weak. Big hit there. But um, yeah, so I know the calendar. I know what year we're doing. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Get stuck in. It's gonna be tricky because the car 
it's quite tricky to drive. I drove it a few. I've driven it a few times. Oh come on! And uh, yeah, many crashes and spins were had. But um, I was gonna uh, speak about this, but I'm thinking of. Now this is controversial, but lately I've been thinking about the watch ability. Is that a word? Um, well how viewer friendly the series is and I've started to have thoughts that <gasps> survived that just started to have thoughts that maybe it's not as viewer friendly and it needs to be more because uh, you know, I want it to be something you guys can watch and enjoy and of course some of you do enjoy it but I'm like how can I make it more enjoyable how can I make it more Uh, hang on. Speak later. I'm talking through this, driving through this quarry thing. And um, yeah, how can I make it more watchable? Like, you know, you're watching a real race. And obviously, some people prefer a broadcast view, like Mitzos, or my point of view. Because I've got plans for the Sorks in. Stork F1 series. I keep saying Stork Sim Studios. Um, I like this bit. Hang on. I don't like this bit. I like that. It's very scenic. And, um, oh, this, see, this is a difficult section up here. Sank then. So I go. I will get back to talking about things, but this part is quite different, tricky. I find it. Also, get lower to the ground because you might have noticed up here it's mountainous. If you go off, that's it, and I don't want that to happen. I much. If I had to go off, I much prefer to go closer to the sea, where it's somewhat flat. I don't want to be going down this mountain. And the video will be ending right here as we pretty much reach maximum revs. I think this thing puts out about 15,000 RPM when I briefly looked it up. Holy mac and cheese balls. <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna go up that embankment now. I've really got to be careful. I said to myself before driving this thing, just take it easy. Like you would do if you were not on camera. Now, I'm not showing off or anything. Or am I? Bridge. Hairpin right. I remembered. Right, now we start to get a little bit more flat. got the town not too far away from here I believe oh God, the amount of gear changes I'm gonna have to make you should count uh, this is gonna be close 24 minutes on the clock I mean we've got 10 minutes but we are in sector 3 of this task if we don't manage it today, we'll try and try again. And there is another car that I could use for this attempt, but it's not actually out yet. It's still in development. So until that happens, we're stuck with this car. And this one has the best chance to break, or at least match that record or get very close. Uh, no, come on. Get close to the town now. That famous hairpin turn. I'm starting to get a little bit nervous now with the time. Here comes the town of something or other. Ooh. My left arm is absolutely killing me. When we get to the straight, I'm going to have to rest it a little bit. It's so painful. Nino! 
Alright, here comes the hairpin. It's just up here. Get off the curb. Don't crash it. Don't crash. Oh, thank God. Alright. Anyways, I think we're safe to talk now. Despite the fact this is still bloody hard. We're slowly approaching. <laughs> this is going to be so close. 26 minutes on the clock now. But like I was saying, still okay for my series. Yes, season four. Yes, I actually have a green screen for that series where I'm going to be like the broadcaster standing at the end of the pit lane talking about the race, like I do already, but kind of like. Murray Walker style in the 80s where we stand there with a microphone in hand and chit chat about the races and I was also thinking about doing uh, mock driver interviews because I do impressions and I'm very nervous about revealing said impressions unlike Connor Moore who does a lot of the modern drivers I do a lot of the older drivers like Jackie Stewart, Nicky Lauda and uh, Jim Clark and all that and a few others and uh, I think you know, I could do these mock interviews no 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 panic 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 perfect 27 minutes on the clock yeah do all these sort of like mock interviews before the races and after the races just to make it a little bit more interesting This is going to be close. We failed when we reached the town last time, which is just, you know, a few couple of minutes away. So this is why it's going to be so close. And if, if I don't break it now, I don't know what will, apart from the third car on my list. I mean, we could try another one, but it never actually compete here purely because that is too powerful because it was too powerful and that's a 917 and I struggle enough at Le Mans with that thing, let alone here but um, I have got a 908 slash 3 but it's way too slow I relax my left arm there for a little bit but yeah you know, green screen and all that just to make it a little bit more like you're watching a real race because I feel like as it is now it's a little bit dry, a little bit boring this is a little bit of extra spice if you get what I mean listen to me, I'm out of breath I don't get much physical exercise nowadays apart from walking to the end of my pier and back I don't own the pier, it's just the pier in my town no bloody wall! Come on, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. I think this is messed up already. Come on, come on, come on, no. Come on. Stabilize, stabilize. Get some traction, there we go. 29 minutes of the clock. I have a feeling we're not going to do this. I'm not even going to beat my fastest time around here, which is a 34 minutes. Meaning we have five minutes, well, less to get to the end, which, judging from this position, it's not going to happen. But we will remain positive. But, like I said, let me know what you think could be done about the Historic F1 series in the future. Because I might use Euro Truck Simulator as the game there we um, you know just talk about stuff like I am now but a little bit less tension right there's the sea do you see the sea guys uh -huh. oh god I felt something click then didn't like it there's the town I've just seen the town of something or other two I don't know what they're called 
I could have easily just Google mapped it beforehand. But knowing me, I've just forgotten by this point. Because I'm just focusing on the road. This is a barrier. So close. So close. So goddamn close. We're not going to give up. We're going to keep doing this until we do break the record. There's the town there. Our, our attempt ended at the town last time. It's not going to happen today. I should have stayed the second there. Just, why did I go up to third for absolutely no reason? Scary man. Right, we crashed just down here, which ended our thingy last time. Got my left arm. See, this wheel isn't even for speed back. Yeah, it's absolutely kidding me. Not even I'm trying to keep it on the bloody stand. We're getting near to the straight, we're so close. 32 minutes now. God, this is a valiant effort. Uh, come on, no, 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 come on. It's gonna end on the straight, isn't it? It's gonna end on the straight. We're so close to the end. If I hadn't messed up those two times, I think we might have actually had a chance. Break, 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 break. Oh, not yeah, a little bit. No, oh. I think that's it. Oh, we're done. Just giving it too much. But we're on the straight now. Bugger. We've got about 30 seconds until we've lost, and this is how close we are literally. Just a handful of corners. Oh. Lost focus, giving it too much, just trying too hard. We've crashed three times, which stopped me in my tracks. That's what let me down. We're gonna do this again, but we're gonna we're gonna go to the end. The record is about to be it's about to pass, which is at 33 seconds. And there it goes. We need more, we need something else. So 33 minutes. Oh dear. Or was it a 32? It might be a 32. Oh god, this straight's gone up quicker than I thought it would. <laughs> it keeps getting worse. Bad to worse. I'm so used to the straight taking such a long time. That was as long as the uh, Montan straight. That's what it felt like. Well, I've disappointed you again. And I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It won't happen again. Well, it will happen again. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. But give me credit. I've tried again and I've failed. This is not easy to do. It'll be easy to go in a non-historic car or non-historically um, accurate for this track car like a, I don't know, let's say a, uh, I don't know, uh, a Mercedes CLR, there we go, a Mercedes CLR, say you, like, you broke, broke the record, that's not what I want to do, I want to an F1 car. That's not what I want to do. Well, take the cars that did take on the the what do you say, course, the Tiger Florio in real life and beat it. At least then, that's actually hard work, and this is hard work. My left arm. We're giving it a good go, as I always say. 35 minutes now, so we're even slower than the... That's when I know I've messed up somewhere because my best time around here in this car is a 34.48, which is my quickest time ever around here. 
And we're going to be a 35, 48 it seems to be. Across the line. And yeah, 35, 46. Of course we're taking off the minute because we sat here for a while. <clears throat> oh. And there's all the times on the screen now. So I think that's second fastest from memory. Obviously the 512S was fastest, faster, shall I say. 34.51 If I hadn't made those mistakes we could have really given, we were two minutes off the time Oh man That is unbelievable I am absolutely gutted Well guys Are you noticing I'm a bit tired from that one <laughs> that was absolutely mental. In a car like this, that was just so powerful. Yeah, well, it's not powerful, it's just so violent, so tricky to handle. But um, I hope you enjoyed nonetheless. And uh, rest assured, we're going to be trying this again. Maybe in the same car. We'll have a few more practice runs on ca off camera. And we'll try it again. And we will beat Marco's lap record around here. I promise you that. And when that day happens, it will be a glorious day. But right now, I won't be skipping back to work to tell everyone of my great achievement. So, until the next video, which will be this Sunday, which is the final race of the... 1957 Formula 1 season as part of season 3 of this dog F1 series uh, that'll be Sunday but work as usual and until then have a safe and awesome week and uh, take a look at the rest of my videos if you like if you're new to this channel and uh, yeah I'll see you guys at the next video, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, leave a like or comment and uh, tell me how much of a bad driver I am. It's fine, I can, I can accept it on this occasion. And uh, yeah, see you next time, goodbye.